Leaders must balance their commitment to integrity and their commitment to love. Other leaders tell substantially less the whole truth so as to avoid jeopardizing the psychological well-being of one of their associates. In the guise of caring and sensitivity, leaders may mask the full, candid, and potentially helpful truth when communicating with their associates. Such caring is not love and is often stems from a fear that the truth will have painful consequences. Love demands the truth, and leaders must exercise their commitment to integrity if they are to be effective in their application of love during virtually every interaction they have with their associates. A candid counseling session only has meaning when the candor is expressed with love. Candor without love can be brutal and hurtful. Now, fear can influence a leader's willingness to be candid or direct with associates during discussions about their performance. Leaders may fear reprisal from their associates, or they may be concerned their associates have legitimate reasons to question, doubt, or even aggressively challenge the accuracy of the observations. How many times have you as a leader provided feedback to an individual and found the subsequent conversation more painful than it would have been had you just simply remained silent? Leaders who have had this sort of experience may try to avoid such difficult conversations in the future. And in so doing, they fail to effectively lead and love their associates in the organization. If an associate does not receive your honest feedback, whether positive or negative, the result is the associate is being led with anxiety rather than love. The loving thing to do is to provide feedback that helps your associates find ways to improve their performance or behaviors. An entire organization suffers when leaders fail to have candid, direct, and meaningful conversations with their associates. Organizational performance reflects the sum total of individual performers in the organization. The leader is ultimately accountable for the quality of that performance. When a leader fails to provide meaningful feedback, that is truly of the highest integrity. The organization is cheated of the potential for improved performance. Excellence cannot be achieved without the commitment to continually improving each individual's performance. It is the leader's responsibility to use every leadership tool available to maximize the performance against expectations set by the organization and its leaders. Leaders who have the highest standards of integrity understand this obligation to the organization and irrespective of their contemplated fears, commit to taking high integrity action. 